Hello everyone, my name is Mark Walsh. I'm a weather observer here at McMurdo Weather. Um, today we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the weather conditions around McMurdo and Antarctic in general. As you know, we have some of the most extreme weather here on Earth, and particularly are known as the windiest continent on Earth. And wanted to talk a little bit about winds in general and what about Antarctica makes our wind events more strong and more extreme than in other places. Uh, as you probably know, Generally speaking, wind is caused by a pressure gradient or a difference in air pressure from one place to the next. Generally speaking, wind flows from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure, and that is true from wind everywhere on Earth. Um, here in Antarctica, however, because of our terrain and some continental features, we have a different or an additional type of wind that forms and blows called catabatic winds uh, that is caused by our very large flat polar plateau. Uh, you can see here, this is the polar plateau, uh, the South Pole is in the very middle, and this is at an elevation much higher than other points in the continent. Uh, South Pole is at an elevation of about 10,000 feet, and us here at McMurdo, down on the coast, we are at sea level. Um, so how does this difference in elevation relate to stronger winds, particularly these catabatic winds that we're known for? Well. Um, when you have air over the polar plateau, this is a very cold, very flat, very uniform surface. Uh, that air that's touching the ice gets very, very cold because it's touching ice and therefore gets very, very dense or very, very heavy. Uh, it starts to flow downhill towards the sea level, uh, or towards the sea rather, and starts to get funneled through these trans-Antarctic mountain valleys, um, which you can see better here. Here's McMurdo, by the way. These are the Trans-Antarctic Mountains. Uh, the polar plateau is over here. And this wind is going downhill, downhill. All of a sudden, it hits the mountains and has to, has to find other paths to get to sea level. Uh, again, this air is very, very cold. It's very, very dense. And it's very, very heavy relative to the warm air that's at sea level. Um, so how does and why does this cold, dense, heavy air equal catabatic winds, right? Uh, it's, it's a different idea than this high to low pressure stuff we just talked about a few minutes ago. Um, this is a, a density issue, a more of a, of a gravity effect uh, causing winds rather than a pressure gradient. And basically what happens is as the air gets very, very cold and very, very tense, it's also very, very heavy and wants to sink relative to the warm, less dense air surrounding it, particularly down here at sea level. So as it's coming from the polar plateau, it's finding uh, the mountain valleys and following some of the same tracks that our glaciers do. Uh, it starts rolling downhill. Gravity is pulling this heavier air downhill and it's causing the less uh, dense, lighter air, if you will, around it to, to, to rise above it. Um, and so this cold air is being forced by gravity downhill. It's being funneled through these mountain valleys, which also causes it to pick up steam. Uh, and by the time it reaches sea level, these catabatic winds are screaming down through the mountain passes where we get hurricane strength winds, especially here along the coast, sometimes reaching all the way over here to McMurdo. Uh, and that is uh, one particular uh, topographical effect uh, that causes some of our extreme wind events here in Antarctica. This is an infrared satellite image of McMurdo Sound and the Trans-Antarctic Mountains. You can see this pink line is the coastline. Uh, so to the left of this pink line are the Trans-Antarctic Mountains in there, and then just to the left of about here is this polar plateau that we were talking about. So all this air over this flat, cold, frozen ice polar plateau is really, really dense, really, really heavy, comes towards the mountains, starts to find these valleys as it's heading towards uh, the, the sea level caused by gravity, because the air is heavy, going towards sea level, finds the mountain valleys, follows some of these glacier tracks, the same holes through the mountains that the glaciers are following, and, and goes towards the sea. Uh, you can see with these um, dark spots there, those are the, the vasal valleys, those are the places where these catabatic winds are funneled through the mountain passes, and we actually see them as a separate signature on this infrared satellite image. 